Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue developing uh, Grampy editor. Hopefully we get to the point where it's completely useful. Um, yeah, and basically image uploading and all the form interaction and stuff like that, right? Um, we get this part, text editing, is it's working. Image upload is not working yet. So we got, uh, I think, just one part, which is upload, actually uploading the image. And the tricky part I left is all the interaction, all the transitions between like, um, Yeah, uh, failed state and transition between states basically, right? So I did uh, some update on the scheme. Uh, I simplified some interactions, so it's like easier to um, to work with and the code I didn't touch yet. So this is what we get right now. There is some text, uh, it saves, hopefully. And yeah, and so we have to make pictures work. Okay, so I have to remind myself what's going on. Frankly, I don't remember much, but uh, so we have head editor here with different files like media buttons. Yeah, and as far as I remember, we can delete drafts, we can create drafts, right? And we can drag some images in here, so. Let's see, so it starts uploading and then it never finishes. Uh, why is that? Let's see. Because we got simulated exception. And normally at this state, we should, uh, at this point, uh, we should see failed state, which is this, which we probably don't have. I don't remember actually, do we have it or not? So let's start probably with this. So new debug and this is list of our states right uh, there's new edit and other author body change body same body failed dragging the over da, 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 uploading 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 failed okay so this is failed state so we have failed state right uh, we have to and there is try again button so it's supposed to work okay so this is what we need to be working on actually so let's see uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, and uh, if we start looking at this scheme, let's just mark what we what we already have. We have no media state. We have upload, and uploading is working, and we have this working. I don't know. Is there a way to somehow more additionally mark those as done? Maybe. I don't know, outline. So uploading state seems to work, upload seems to work, right? So this are done. Fail state, we have fail state, but we do not transition into it. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, so, but we don't have this transition, right? So when upload fails, we don't transit to fail state. This is what we need to be working on. So we have to go to media here. And then let's see what we have. What do we have? I also had an idea. Yeah, let's just see what we have. Okay, so we draw input. Input is invisible, so it is okay. And then to the deleting state and subscribe to the whole post. Okay, this to do is uh, visible. Uh, what we have here, uh, media status uploading, media status failed. Okay, so uploading is here. Let's go and see what happens when we uploading. Right, so there is uploading, there's percent, progress, media, wrap, upload, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uploading seems okay, but at some point we have to interact to uploading. Yeah, so this one, this function that we are interested in, um, this one uploads, right? So, yeah. I also had, um, if you remember, so um, how do I debug or debug states, we have different statuses. Yes, last time we changed um, map 
of a post into the structure. I'm not sure where should I I should be putting this, but maybe here, right? So let's see. Let's see what we possibly have. Um, so there is ID, there is body. Yeah, okay, so this comes from maybe I should be using like closure schema uh, I might I uh, the problem is I don't find it particularly easy to read so that's my problem uh, but we have something like this right yeah maybe even keep the ID just for example so this is just to remember what can go into post and if we go to body there is okay so there is body edit body status body message body timer okay so body edited body status body status message body timer i see here okay uh, so status can be failed or saving things like this body edited there is also edited oh, body edited we have it so no edited Okay, message is just string, right? Uh, body status, body, yeah, this seems all. Okay, so this is just timer, actually, which is uh, longer, but whatever. So my point is uh, we have like different sections and this media is there is even more like uh, this all uh, media keys, right? So this is what we are going to upload at some point okay let me just do this and i also need to probably comment this out but yeah to, so this url can be actually be no it's going to be blob right so this one we know what it can be file is actually file status okay let me see no not the status uploading progress failed but what's progress progress media status progress um i'm not sure what i'll have to check so there is uploading Yeah, progress there is. There is failed. Um, there is media status message with again the string. There is media dragging. Um, Status warning, status failed. Yeah, and progress is, yeah, it's okay. Loading failed. Um, there's object URL, which is So this one would be XML HTTP request, right? Uh, 
dragon and there is also dragon and I thought there is also another one but maybe I got rid of it yeah there go over this one okay so one uh, means uh, dragging has started and the other one means we are over the drop zone okay so this seems necessary complicated <laughs> uh, a bit complicated yes but yeah um, okay so normally well not normally this could all be specced obviously but most of all i prefer this as a reminder for myself so there is no actual need to make it into a spec i also find specs hard to read so i probably prefer it not to be spec i mean yeah but of course in spec you can like uh, put very specific details like if status is uploading there has to be progress right if status is failed there has to be a message but no progress and stuff like that there has to be a request uh probably request goes in here somewhere yeah so yeah this all can be specced actually but uh my point is as we go into media let's see i have call yeah, so I invented this disoc all uh, call, uh, which is going to disoc all the keys related to specific namespace, like media, right? So because the map is flat, we don't have a one key, we have lots of keys, and each time we transition, we have to clean up uh, previous state. So if you go, for example, uh, to body, uh, we can actually do it so instead of this do we have call here no we don't have call we should have call here okay so this will be call disoc all body okay yeah this looks strange because it doesn't remind you of namespace but i'm not sure maybe it's okay mm. maybe I should also unify this into a single call like the sock and then a sock so you see here like uh, we have to always clean up the stage that is, as it was before and um, then we have to like replace it so this way we sure that we don't leave anything behind okay uh, so maybe maybe there is a place for for replace call and qs so this one will be as um the so called ns apply a sock keys something like this right so i'm not sure if replace is in core namespace probably is yeah yeah this is not what we want but we can I always forget the syntax of our refer closure. Okay, so I like the name replace. So in this case, it is be going to be used as this. So we call call replace. But so <laughs> um now i also understand that body.status 
is not going to be sweet by this so-called call. Yes, maybe having a flat object is not that of a good idea after all. Maybe, maybe not. This is like, you're starting to do something weird. Uh, well, we can, for one, we can replace body status message for, for this, which is like, of this here. I'm not sure which one is better. Yeah, maybe we just replace this. Um, body, and then we just do this, okay? And it goes here. I'm not sure why it's red now. Yeah, okay, so we swap, and now we have to go. Wait, what? Ah, no, it's okay. We need to replace my status message. It's this one, right? Mm -hmm. So just replace it with status message. Uh, so replace place yes yes and same thing goes for media status message which is supposed to be now media status message replace replace okay and the third one is gonna be media status progress this might kind of break up our, um, you know, keys, if we have it, destructuring, uh, we still seem to have it, so this even seems to be doing okay, so, okay, so this, this one's okay, they're just values, right? Um, Not sure even we need status here. Maybe uh, we'll just well it's not status progress, right? So it's more of upload progress or even uploading progress. Or just progress, I don't know. Yeah, let's replace, why not? I'm not sure why it, oh no, okay. So this is now upload progress, okay. Status message seems reasonable because, well, it's also failed message, not status message. So, yeah. Okay, so some, some naming. <laughs> Yeah, failed message, okay, replace, replace, save, 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 I'm not sure, uh, same goes here, failed message, okay, replace, Okay, and the last thing I want to do is 
And I'm worried that there is uh, this is uploading and this is upload. I probably need want to. No, let's leave it at that. So yeah, media request is also upload request, right? So this one probably needs to be renamed because it is upload request place. Yeah. I now also thought of an idea here. So I'm not sure about the sock. But there is. So what if I when calling a replace, I would write something like body slash dot star. Is it going to be better? It's definitely going to be slower. Uh, do we care? Probably not. It also communicates more clearly what we are actually doing instead of having this. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, I think. So file is file, right? So file is not object URL is also they do not Oh, I already have it. Okay, let's remove it from here. Uh, I think object URL is like normally blow up something. It's not specific to upload. This one is specific to upload, and this one is specific to upload. And these two are like the top because they appear earlier. Okay, so timer. Okay, so timer is also like has to be save timer or edit a timer, right? It just uh, I, I don't like calling things uh, by the function uh, by the type right a timer what what timer you can have two or three timers with different meaning I more I like it more when you name things by the function right and this time in this in this situation a uh, timer is actually like safe timer right or auto save um, saving not to save we have not to save okay so let's say let's call it auto save timer okay replace save save i wonder if after so many renames uh, anything still works hopefully it does but it's not guaranteed okay um yeah i'm also realizing that some transitions in media would not clear all everything okay so let's let's go with regex here there yeah so um, Space key. So if okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay. So because we might need to okay let's see call i think it's already in here okay so yeah so this is gonna be regex like this 
Hmm. Maybe I am not entirely correct here. Okay, so here I have to be careful because there's like transitions. Okay, let's see. Let's see, maybe I was getting ahead of myself and I don't need to make everything like sweeping up completely, okay? So we go to edit it whenever we change it here, right? If we had a timer that we have to replace, what was written here? Before, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. So to idle and this sucks everything. Seems. Yeah, seems okay to me. To idle is is correct. So in this case, we just. We do our call replace here. We put this and just buy this. Okay, so we replace it this way. Okay, now two failed, but we didn't touch. Okay, and to edit it, so we just soak status message okay let's see uh, this is where uh, this diagram should help Right, so we just go here. Okay, so let's see. So if we are idle and we go to edit. So there are two ways we can go to edit. Either we change something in here. Oops. Uh, and update is sent and we're waiting, but we change something. So we go in here or we change from idle. Either way in edited we are not supposed to have oh we have the timer here right so should we i think okay i think this should be also in this so if um, So this is like this, and then should be should be repost. So basically, I'm just moving it inside. Okay. So we do it in a single swap. It would probably be dangerous to do in multi-threaded environment, but in JavaScript it's okay. Uh, okay. So, but it needs post ah uh, no okay it needs a post reference okay i'm doing i'm doing we have undo all those situations specifically okay cool uh yeah i it, uh, it needed oh yeah this is simple okay let's 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 leave it at simple 
so can we go to edit it if we have a timer probably not right uh, no, we actually can we just won't set it in our case we this is wrong by the way yes so we, we shouldn't be cleaning up timer in this case because I actually should display it right here as another arrow pointing at itself it will be added as well and the color is gonna be green okay so that would mean that we we edit itself we edit itself okay so this is important because that means we don't have to destroy timer okay don't get it okay so that's why we only dispose of the message but we don't touch the timer and other fields we have we have edited status we clean up failed message probably but, but this is supposed to be failed message right the rename and auto save timer we do not touch right oh no because we have we are replacing status edited and failed message yeah okay so and timer we don't touch okay can you write a regular expression that does that i'm not sure Well, I can, but I don't want to. Let's leave it in that. Uh, let's leave also a comment in here. Do not clear up body to save timer. Okay, so this is this is good. Now transition to saving, right? Transition to saving also has. On only happens when timer fires right so that means we were in editing mode and we don't want to override edited we do want to override timer we probably want to re to clean up failed message as well mm. do not clear up by the edited well maybe i should get and oh no it's javascript by regex navigation okay let's see No, this is not what I need. This is probably better. Yes. Everything that isn't bad worked. Let's look up at what regular expression can do. Assertions, let's see. Negative look ahead. Okay. Hmm. 
so if I write something like uh, note by the editor, no special characters at the end. It would be anything that is not followed by by the editor, but uh, this is hard to use. So it basically means um, anything that doesn't end and doesn't start. And this is what I had. Okay, let's let's test it, right? So how do we now something something works, so we have to test it. Um, yeah, what is so? See if I put uh, something in there, it doesn't match as well, and in there, right? So. Basically, it excludes anything that is my word, but also with sincerely, I would my want to match this. How do I? Something. Yeah. Oh, this is better, but let's see bad word. Oh, oh, bad word. So this I don't like, right? So this is negative look ahead. Maybe we also need like negative look behind, and that would be question less. What? Look behind is not supported in JavaScript. Is it not? E. What's E? Oh, I, I probably should have escaped this. Yeah, it seems not to be supported. Okay. Regexps, regexp, uh, regexps are always hard to deal with. In our case, we want everything. It starts with body, but is not. So we know it has to start with body. All right. For example, like this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I need, I need 
this. Okay, this seems to work. But the problem is that is okay, I guess. Now let's 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 roll with this. So we so what why I want uh, to do this is because I I leave these comments, right? But ideally it should be spoken by the code what we are trying to do here. So it's gonna be call replace. Here we are going to say body, but not edited. Yeah. And then body status like this. So now code itself speaks that we don't want to edit it to be cleaned up. And this is more reliable in my opinion than something else. Uh, here we need the same. Uh, we are gonna need body, but not how to sync timer. It would be harder if we need to exclude two keys, but eventually I think we will figure it out. I hope we will figure it out. Okay, do not clean this, leave this. So I would be surprised if it still works, but I hope it still works. So when we do failed, um, status and failed message. So let's, let's look at our diagram again. Here, if we fail, we can either be in this state or in this state, or in this not in, not in this state probably, in other either of these states, right? So either we have a timer or we don't have a timer. Um, we have edited body. We don't want that to change as well. So yeah, this seems correct. This seems doesn't need any tweaking. So here we just replace everything with body and save. Okay, seems good. Seems good. And let's see. We we compile. This is good, right? So let's try and save something. Okay, so I cannot even edit anything in here. Invalid RT5. Okay, this is interesting. Um, it happened on body to edit it. 49, body to edit it. So it says that call replace has invalid rarity of five. One, two, three. Um, this is strange. Oh yeah, because because it's doesn't work this way, does it? Uh, because we need. Is this way? Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's try again. Edited, saving, saved. Uh, hmm. XML parsing error. Not found. Update body. Well, what? Let's see. And our response somehow confused somebody. Okay. So. This is not ideal. Uh, response was content type. It didn't set any content type actually. Okay. Well, so it thought it might be XML, but it's no, it wasn't. Okay. At some point, uh, we should have an error somewhere in the. Yeah, there was an error, right? Uh, yeah, this is an error. And saved. Okay, cool. Um, I think I want to somehow. So, update body doesn't return anything for some reason. Maybe we don't need it to return anything. 
and weight value. Okay, so we just return status two hundred. Okay. Um, this is somehow is supposed to be XML response. Eh, who cares? Okay, I think we figured the body part. Okay, okay it's 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 worth saving, right? So this this. This, this. Hopefully this. Okay, let's let's see if we broke this one or not. Okay, yeah, we broke something. This it's supposed to be a picture somehow. Um, body picture URL. What what's wrong with this picture URL? I am not showing it. Okay, this is, this is confusing. So probably I brought something in there with, yeah, yeah, no, no, this is fine. Actually, it's status. Mm -hmm. So in our case, we should be just displaying, right? Uh, displaying is here. We have post, we have picture URL. Maybe we just don't have the picture. But I think in debug we are supposed to have all the pictures. Maybe for some reason this post was deleted. I'm not sure. Let's yeah. I don't have this post. Oh no. Oh yeah. I was doing it wrong. I don't need to go to post. Yeah, there is a picture. What's wrong? There is a picture. Why is it not? It's not displayed. I don't get it. So I prepared draft to it for some reason. Okay, okay, uh, maybe I, it was broken, not at this point. Uh, because let's go to this post. Yeah, picture URL is just it, it's not supposed to have this prefix. Okay. Some reason I thought it it should, but it shouldn't. Okay. Maybe in this case it's no. This is fine. This is would be blob URL. We want one to now it's not working again, but for different reason I hope. Yeah, so now it is this. Um yeah, and it isn't I didn't find it. Um yeah, this is this is a different matter. Uh, let's not let's not fix it right now because it's a different problem and I probably broke it before. Let's focus on this. This is not something that we changed today, right? I probably. I probably left some work undone for, and I, I have to address it. But for now, let's call it rename, 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 rename bot. Rename post keys. Mm. 
use called place for state transitions. Okay, so yeah, the, the main motivation for this is I was worried that while writing uh, state transitions, you might forget to clean something up, right? So because at some point, for example, I had a, a fifth key in there, like body something, right? But all the code was written in in a way that it supposed it's only four keys, right? So it's better to sweep those explicitly, right? And it's better to sweep every key and then only add that the one that you expect, right? Except when you also want to keep some some key somewhere. Okay, so uh, it's like it guarantees us that there are no left over keys somewhere. Okay, let's see what we didn't finish here. So we have some deleting state in there. Okay, this is okay. So we have dragging and so there is protection for dragging that it's not supposed to be working if this was wrong in this result. Maybe I should write um, spec after all. Yeah, so dragging, 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 dragging. So we only enable dragging unless we are in, let's go. Okay. This was good. Maybe let's leave it open. Only if we are allowed so this is in displaying if you are in failed we allow dragging right it actually says we are not but we supposedly do if we are in deleting we are not supposed to be dragging anything or if we are in no media state like this uh, so it means we are not supposed to be dragging if we are already uploading. Yes, this is sounds strange. Where's dragging info? Yeah. Actually, it's supposed to be like uploading, right? If we are in uploading, we are not allowed to upload. If you are failed, we are allowed. If you are displaying, we are allowed. If you are deleting, we are not allowed. Uploading and deleting. Okay, but uh, let's let's figure out why our debug doesn't isn't working okay so now we probably broke compilation somehow yes no no oh. fixed what the fuck okay let's so this one is so the trick is we are using dra uh, sorry draft URL because um, because when you're adding a post you might have changed a uh, picture to something else right so you cannot go to post URL um, that means we have to go to draft but it seems to be somewhere in there there must be yes this one um, and it doesn't find it right so it depends of whether 
so it should actually check two places right how do i know if the image was changed or not i didn't try or would i Yeah, so the post, the post. Hmm. Yeah, so we have to check draft image is gonna be Do I need, do I have, no, okay, yes, this should be okay. Do I have something for like left image resource? Maybe I should write something like for file different files names. Okay, and then we just or even paths and then we just go over um, reduce path new and then pass when okay so here file your file pass right when exists file we have to go and return response file response do we have response in here what is response here And we also have to call reduced. All right, so return the first one that matches. If none matches, we return probably something like this. So, yeah, something like this. Uh, then the way we are going to use it. Yeah, this is the only place where it's used. The way we are going to use it is uh, web. Yes, web. Files. Let's call it first file. First file. Uh, first file and then there are three options right so we either look into the drafts folder or we look into actual post folder like this and also we return nice 404 for us okay okay let's this is server side, so we have to actually call reset and then refresh. Okay. No, it didn't work. What the fuck? Draft post image check. File can be cast to string. Okay, 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 never know. So this expects string, so instead we return pass. 
Now it, it picks up, it picks it up. Yes, sir. Um, saving failed, and then boom, we don't have something, right? So dragging, dragging is somehow broken. No direct defined for keyboard. Okay, so this is interesting. Yeah, so trying to draft keyboard somewhere. Um, this one, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So now, now we are cooking. Okay. So this is dragging. This is dragging over. This is if we have already image, but it's okay. It, it is. It is expected to look like that. Dragging our image. Dragging to our blob. Uploading. 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 Boom. Yeah, so I see that uploading doesn't have delete. Um, yeah, if you failed upload, you can cancel it. You can try again. Long message. Upload dead. Now, now upload dead doesn't work. Okay, what the fuck? Let's see. Uh, yeah, again. So this is just debug data. In here, yeah, this is the same problem. Yeah, I didn't just didn't notice it. Okay. Right. Drafting it on scale. Yeah. Okay, so now because the post doesn't have an ID. That it doesn't fall back on. Our post have, has to have ID. Okay, let's add ID here. We should fix it. Yeah. Not upload vertical. Because upload vertical is different post. Okay. This one must be ID. Okay. This is not um, exactly correct, but we are more interested in. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, but ours change. Um, yeah, yeah seems to be, this seems to be okay. Let's let's talk. Take a short pause.
thing. <laughs> I just realized I was completely silent for, for some quite some time, yeah. Okay, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter probably. Um, yeah, so we're dealing, we're trying to fix this flickering. Uh, the flickering is not optimal, yeah. So the way there's few ways to deal with it. On old Grumpy website, we just show uh, keep showing object URL, which is not perfect uh, because if something wrong happens during conversion on a server, so server compresses image, right? If something happens during this compression, uh, you will see okay image, but when you post, users will see wrong image. That's one we definitely don't want, right? Another one is just keep it as it is, which is sucks because there's like flickering in the middle. Uh, third way might be to fix the size of an image. So there won't be jumping, but it will feel like image just got uploaded, then it starts downloading again which is not ideal as well. And the fourth way, probably the most correct way here, is to introduce another state. And that one, this, this one, I, I don't really want to implement, but you can actually can. So um, you can create dress image object, right? Image object yeah. So you create new image, you set SRC, right? And then you you like wait for it to load. I'm not sure how how to call the state, but let's say we call it downloading, right? So definitely downloading. Indeed. In fact, we just we create an image. We set and probably asset we have asset asset sorry asset asset how do asset works yeah image so c and this right so we set and then we need to subscribe to unload this image object on load um, something like this the problem is that we have to deal with errors and stuff like that no. This one is what? Yeah, so it's just set on load and for example mm, Unload. And here we have to, we need to have a function that will actually go to, I'm not sure what updates here I mean, but probably we need some updates in here as well. 
Okay, so I'll do this pulling. Test outlets. Yes. So what do we do? We do we change? So we definitely have to. Um, there are a few, few tricks in there. Right? So one would be we shouldn't transition if. Yeah, yeah. Let's just. I just want to see that this works, okay? And we, for example, say, oh, we don't say anything. So this, this, that's just all. We just see a set an image. No, we actually we, we do need, we do need cl to clean up, swap, post, replace. Not sure. Replace probably media upload everything that with has to do with upload. Um, we have to set media status to. status slash downloading and we probably also need to clean up media failed message yes okay probably something like that uh, this is downloading state and we go to we actually can apply call replace like this merge updates then to Post, we don't send any updates. Here we don't have updates, and oops, and we definitely clean up the status. Yes. Maybe we won't call replace. Right, so we don't need anything from media anymore. Probably. If you go to displaying, we don't need file, object URL, status. Uh, yeah, so here we, we are going to have, have another status downloading, help message. Okay, yeah. Um, so somewhere in here on success we we have to switch to downloading. Uh, the other status is uploading or downloading. We we show the same. Oh, except 
No, 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 So for the loading, we need something like this, but simple, right? Well, the loading is almost displaying, actually. So it's almost like this. It only different. Uh, in that we display object URL here. This one I'm not sure in the Microsoft pointer. Oh, so we show delete as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's almost like displaying. Uh, actually, this one should be a function, I think. But whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. Actually. It gets really complicated, right? So I don't really like that, but what can we do? Down loading. Okay, so this transfers is it here. Uh, transition here would be on load. On load. Uh, it actually goes like kind of goes to a server, right? But it is drafts post image, something like that. So it actually goes to downloading. Downloading goes If it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I probably need to add CPB. I'm not even sure what to. If it fails, I just keep showing. Well, if it fails, I should actually show failed. It means that upload succeeded somehow but for some reason server cannot download the image and in that situation you are not sure what mm. Not sure what uh, if if I even can handle uh, error on image loading, but but yeah, whatever. So it's important that we track it explicitly. Okay, so we go to displaying. If we don't, if we don't um, displaying the same as that. Oops, downloading. So I'm thinking of going 
another arrow here like this and this one goes up and green okay this is what we are trying to achieve right Okay, so we have drag, 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 have loading, explaining, right? Yeah, this is pretty complicated pipeline just for, just to show in the picture. Okay. Um, is it all set? I think it is. I think it is. Okay, so we're not throttling, refresh. It means it's uh, good to G. Let's see. In theory, we shouldn't see any flickering. Didn't waste so. No, it still uses blob URL. Okay, so the onload didn't happen actually. But ah, because we get yeah. Because we get 404, so downloading, to downloading, yes. Here, oops. This is wrong, so we have to say drafts. ID post, like this. So this is what we post um, I also want to do something like status in here just to see it has to go inside maybe right just to differentiate this but this way no throttling plane is good to G okay so this is uploading this is downloading I still don't get anything for some reason Maybe it's draft, not drafts. Yeah, it's draft. Uh, yeah, I, I need to figure out a way to handle errors from. And the loading is stuck for some reason. It didn't make a request at all. So why? This is slow. So now it did code downloading, right? But, but nothing is happening. Is it because we don't have anything on the server? Hmm. It's interesting, what do it mean? 
Okay, um, let's see. So this is not going to draw. Is it correct? Yeah. No. So this seems to be like old URL. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Yeah, this is because we. <laughs> so the new URL uh, comes in updates, right? So we have to apply updates first, like this. Then we have to because we are we are logging the old picture, right? So first we are applying updates. This way we get new URL. And now like this, for example, we can even. So this way we call the post. This is actually not right. This is supposed to be like this. We create an image. Uh, we set on the image the source to the new post. Post is new video now. And we set on load. Uh, yeah, this seems more proper. I'm still worried that this this guy didn't. Yeah. So it did get something. It did get it, but it didn't print anything. Right. So, so this unload didn't work, which sucks. which sucks. This might be because we used maybe we should use either the event listener. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's try image load And this, yeah, why not? Who knows? Maybe, maybe it works this way. Loading. No, now it works. Okay, cool. Um, do we have like error or? On error event, right? Maybe we can actually put something like error in here. Maybe even we can do this. I hope we can do this. Uh, now, for this to actually test properly, we will need to re enable this. Let's see. And restart server. Yes, this is a support. Wait, where did I re enable it? Upload. No, we don't need to. It's an upload. We need it on in here. Yes, this is where we need it. Load it. Okay. Load it. Okay. 
Okay, so this is true. Uh, I'm starting to suspect that something is not working. Okay, yeah, yeah, we get error. Yeah, cool. So, so there's error object. And does it have some kind of message? Or? Target, element, timestamp, type. Um, we probably need something like this. Um, it doesn't have name or message, does it? Okay, first of all, I'm going to print this and then I'm trying to print this and then I'm trying to print this. Okay, let's let's try. Okay, we got lucky, got lucky, we got lucky. <laughs> okay, so the probability of failure is one third. Maybe I should make it two thirds. Uh, let's see. Yes. So everything is undefined actually. So the error object is event prototype. It's just error event. And doesn't seem to have any like message or something. Okay. Just error event message. Yes. Here it suggests that it has to be. Okay. We don't get a message, but what can it be, right? So it's just didn't download it, and that's all. Okay, cool. Uh, but I'm actually quite happy. Yeah. So let's say you cannot see it here, but if I actually add in here. Yeah. So in here I can, for example, make it something like, no, this is not what I wanted, but um, yeah, here. So here we, we say which dimension do we want and let's say I, I say this reset and now in theory we are supposed to see how the quality degrades no we don't get to see that part Yeah, we get to see errors. Um, um, yeah, so uh, we actually replace uh, blob object with this this thing. Okay, cool. Um, let's leave it at that. Let's also go in here we what we want is it's supposed to be that and failed right so we have to failed yeah we have to fail and we need a message okay we need a message a message would be uh, 
fails to, to reach image. server okay uh, the, the only problem with so why i was like um, hesitant to add another state is because now we have like the amount of states and transitions it multiplies right so there is like combinatoric explosion and it's i don't like that um yeah, there is another arrow right now going in there. Fail. Cool. I'm not. I'm also not sure how to best do this. <laughs> um. Maybe I should do it like this. Yes, but yeah, downloading state is probably something that we don't want. It's like intermediate state, right? So we don't want to be able to clean from it or drag from it or something else, right? So important the states that so there are transitional states and normal states. Let's let's draw. Um, I want to paint transitional states red, oh, sorry, gray, so that we don't pay too much attention to them. So uploading is transitional, downloading is transitional, deleting is transitional, right? So let's paint them, oh, this is too dark. Let's paint them this. Okay, so it means that shouldn't really see arrows going out of them they like system is in some state and in that state you cannot do much you just have to wait what, what will happen right so you have to wait for response from this or this or that okay yeah um what else? What else? What else? So failed state is a bit of bit, bit of outlier. No, no, it's not. Right? So we have no media, we have failed to upload media, and we have display media. Right. So it seems okay. It seems okay to me. Um, another thing that I mentioned. This is good. It's, it's not com that complex, I think. Uh, I also mentioned that in displaying, maybe we have to. Actually, we have displaying here, right? So this displaying can be also same as. No, 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 it's not the same. Not the same at all. Okay, we don't have status, we shouldn't have status downloading, really. It's maybe we should, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's say we, we will have it, right? So, but it would be probably uh, mostly invisible. Failed goes here, yeah. So the failed has to go up. Yes, yes. So it will be mostly invisible for us because it was already uploading and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's let's trigger actually upload failure. Yeah. Upload failed with fail to fetch image from server. Yeah, try again. And try again should be like re upload the current thing, which also should be actually 
pretty simple to implement I think okay so this is pretty big um, yeah this is for something else uh, but 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 fail to downloading okay dragging 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 what what are you thinking about i, 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 I think i forgot oh yeah yeah failed failed state okay so let's go see failed state uh in failed state we have this button right so this button try again should be actually pretty simple to implement and we that's what we will try to do right now so on click of this button is going to be um what is going to be it is going to be just to upload i think to uploading let's see is it enough yeah and we have to fa pass files right so i'm not sure what files is supposed to mean why it's an array it's probably should be just simple file um, yeah so this check actually this is has to go at the call side uh, which is somewhere in here so oops if we selected more than one file right and we get this file we go to uploading this file and to uploading is going to take single file and this is fine because to uploading we plus post which we don't have in failed state for some reason but we will and we are going to pass um, media slash file oh that's simple just re-uploading the files that we already have um, and that's our try again right right but here we uh, it certainly need a post and this might be of course Post. we might also make it reactive i don't know right uh, and for that we might want dragging do we use dragging here yeah we can drag you know drag over so yeah so what i'm saying is we probably need like object url ram react ram cursor post media object url maybe i should write the function that does both things at once because I seem I seem to be doing the same and the same again and again, right? Let's yeah, it's holding like that. And this is callback, so this is okay actually to just. reference the value okay um yeah failed failed like this uh-huh 
Greeting state. And greeting state is something we didn't even vision yet. 64, 64. Oh, here we have one extra. Okay, okay, let's see. So, try again. Yeah, it worked. Uh, it was a little bit. Now it doesn't work. Why? Oh, this is strange. Oh, maybe because it's it actually turned error. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's drag this. How it happened now? One. So now something is wrong with file that I pass. Uh, uh -huh. Still. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So I see. Mm. Here I actually did. Okay, let's write just write a simple function that loads multiple files. So it will be exactly the same. this and then we just set change here to files and here to files as well. Yeah, so this way whoa 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 breakpoint what the fuck why do you have breakpoints now? Not supposed to have breakpoints, but okay. So failed, failed. Boom! It worked. There is some moment of some slight mm, Should win this competition or something? No, something is wrong. Simulated exception. Yeah, I, I win. Okay, so yeah, this seems okay. Uh, let's go to where should we go? Yeah, here. Uh, simulated exception. We don't need it. Kind of. Right. Um, so yeah, the next step would be this button, which is actually slightly trickier, slightly trickier, um, because because what? Because it it can run cleanup or delete, and there is another leaking state. <sighs> yeah, so which is like. Let's wait for a server to respond. Uh, the difference, yeah. Okay, let, uh, what we have here is solid work, so let's just submit it. This is supposedly nice. Um, yeah. Okay, so what did we do here is it's like uh, added display added down loading state. Yes. Okay. 
this is good this is good okay so now maybe the only really the only problematic thing that left is this trash icon right so trash icon appears in two cases um, yeah let me just take pause here Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's recording. Sound. We should have sound this time. 
Uh, so yeah, let's let's implement this. This should be really easy, right? So we have to introduce the leading state. Uh, let's let's see. I'm not sure if we have it like at all in here. Yeah, so we don't have the leading. Okay, so there is a new state which basically will be like. Like, like same but with overlay maybe so you click on this it gets black it says deleting and then it fails and goes back to failing state yeah this seems this seems like a lot of work Okay, well, maybe let's take a pause and return to it to next in the next episode, right? So we have to implement new state, deleting state, and we have to implement like endpoints and stuff like that. I'm not sure if we, I can do that fast enough. Yeah, okay, let's 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 do it next time. Okay, thanks for watching and tune in. Bye bye.